Hey everyone and welcome to Belgium Allen Wild Lovers page. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you'll be the first to get these videos as soon as they drop. I want to thank everybody for joining our channel. We're up to 30,000 subscribers and it's a wonderful and amazing feeling and I want to thank you guys because you guys are the real champions. Thanks for supporting the channel and helping us grow. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Belgian Malinois getting chased by the moose. I recently uploaded this video about a month or so ago, but I want to re-upload it with commentary so that I can give my opinion on what's going on in this video. So here at the top of the screen, you have the moose. I'm going to pause it. At the top left of the screen, there was the moose. There's another dog coming out the bushes at the bottom right, right there. And the Belgian Malinois come in to see what's going on. He's barking, tail up. He know there's danger around. Oh, okay, there go the moose. <laughs> so the moose came, and he broke out of there. And the owner broke out of there, too. So the two dogs. Okay, the owner, now she, she's getting her other dog, and the moose has his eyes set on the Belgian Malinois. Now, the moose, it really doesn't look like he's trying to hurt the Malinois. It's like he just wants to play. It's like it's a game of chase. And the Malinois, he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> so the Malinois knows that there's danger. He's out of there, which he did the right thing because some other times, you may, you know, depending on the dog, the dog will confront danger head on. No matter the size of the danger or whatever it is, the case may be, the dog will go head on with the, whatever it is that's coming at him. In this scenario, this dog, he got out of there. He seen that that, he seen that the moose was a little bit too big for him. He got out of there. Now that's a baby, it's a baby moose. This is, this is a juvenile moose. Not full grown. Doesn't even have his horns yet. And you know, they're just going around in circles. The dog is going around in circles and circles and circles. <laughs> it looks like the dog is playing chase too. For a minute there. Now, I don't want to say he's, he's playing exactly playing chase, but it looks like he's playing chase. You know, when he went around and came back and then took off again. Now he's going straight off. And the moose is chasing him. Now, mooses are not predatory animals. So, he's chasing the dog. It, it, he's not chasing the dog to hurt. Well, I don't believe he's chasing the dog to hurt the dog. It looks like he just wants to play. This is a juvenile moose. And it looks like he wants to play with the dog. You know, they're playing a game of chess. So if it was a predatory animal, he, the predator would be chasing the dog in order to attack the dog. This moose is not trying to attack or harm, harm the dog. It looks, like he's just, it looks like he just wants to play with the dog. The thing I don't like about this video really is that the owner let the dog outside getting chased around, you know, four or five times around the house. And then once the moose, once the moose left, she finally went and grabbed her dog, which we'll see here later. So the moose, he's going on about his business. And here comes the owner with her dog. I believe she should have got her dog sooner than later. You know, it, you took the other dog and you and your other dog went into the house. You let the moose chase around your other, chase around your Malinois, which I don't agree with. Maybe chase, you know, once you see that the Malinois keeps on running and running and running, get your dog. Okay, so that's that video. So in this video, that dog, he did the right thing. He saw danger. He got out of there, retreated. But. Even though throughout the video, you can look at throughout the video, the dog's tail wasn't between his legs. At the beginning of the video, he had his tail up going to attack or uh, going to see what's going on. You know, he heard his, he heard the other dog in the bushes barking at something. I'm pretty sure with a sense of smell, he smelled something. So he went and checked and see what was going on. And then he came, the moose came around the corner and that's when, uh, you know, the dog got out of there. But his tail wasn't between his legs like he was frightened. So that's the video, guys. My Drop your comments down below to let me know what you think about the video, what you think the scenario was. 
In my opinion, the Moose was trying to play. The Malwa might have been playing a little bit, but, you know, he wasn't really sure, so he got out of there. And I didn't like the fact that the owner waited so long to save her dog. So, guys, drop your comments. Let me know down below, and we'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.